Hola everyone, JB Throws here, back with another video. And today, we have some very breaking news for Six Flags over Texas. And no, I'm not talking about the Mr. Freeze fire. Even though, yeah, that's some very big news. Anyways, it is some rather shocking news, and most people don't know about this yet. But, Harley Quinn's Been Sanity, Rodeo, and the Music Mill Amphitheater have been removed from the website and app for Six Flags Over Texas. Some may say it's a glitch, but 99% of the time, when this happens, that means the ride will no longer exist, aka, it's getting removed. And if this is the case, we're about to see three attractions get removed this year, which is kind of a big deal. And this looks like more than just a rumor, based by what's going on inside the park itself. So in today's video, I'll be breaking down exactly what's going on with these three attractions, and I'll be debating whether or not they're leaving, as well as my prediction on what's going to happen next. Before I get into the video though, I would like to say, if you like my content and videos, be sure to hit the like, subscribe and tap the notification bell to know when new videos come out of my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel for all those thrill seekers. On JB Thrills, we make variety of content relating to theme parks in Texas, but also all over the United States. From California to Tennessee, if it's a thrill, it's covered on my channel, with prime focus on Texan theme parks. So if you're into that, you should definitely stick around. And thank you so much for 3,000 subscribers. It's honestly an amazing achievement, and I couldn't have done it without any of you, so thank you all for that. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into today's video. So lately, Six Flags Over Texas has gotten major changes, from dining changes to lots of new theming, all due to the brand new CEO and its plans to change up the Six Flags Corporation. And during this time, Over Texas has seen lots of rides closing down due to repaints or annual maintenance. For example, Roaring Rapids, Judges Scream, and Casa Magnetica, which will all be opening in later dates. And for now, they're closed. But now, two more attractions closed down, Rodeo and Harley Quinn's Insanity. But their reasons are very different. Once these rides closed down, a few days later, on the website and on the app, they just vanished. Usually, the rides are in alphabetical order. And in the R section, Rodeo isn't there. And in the H section, Harley Quinn's Insanity is also not there. And this usually signifies one of two things. One, the ride is getting removed. Or two, it's a glitch. But I'm leaning towards the removal part. Because the exact same thing happened with Yosemite Sound World River Adventure. And as soon as it did, the ride was gone. Same thing for Aquaman's Splashdown. And previous defunct attractions. So yeah, it's very likely Harley Quinn and Rodeo would bite in dust. But it doesn't stop there. The Music Mill Amphitheater is also off the website. It used to show up in the park map, and now it's just not listed, which could mean the same situation. But is it possible for these rides to get removed? And if so, why? Plus, what can replace them? Well, let's start with the first question, which is, why? Why are they getting removed? Well, first, let's talk about the attractions. Starting off with Harley Quinn's Insanity, this ride is relatively new. It debuted in 2018, and is one of two ABC Tour villains in the United States. One of the first, may I add. And due to this ride being really new, it has had major technical difficulties all the time. This ride is extremely rare to get on. It's always breaking down from a small amount of wind, some rain, or just overall technical problems. And me personally, I've already been stuck on that attraction three times. So yeah, it's not really reliable. As for the ride itself, it's a lot of fun. And personally, it's my favorite flat ride in the entire world. It definitely brings a unique experience other flat rides can't bring, and I wish I could see more of them. But again, technical issues. Now just because I like it doesn't mean others like it as well. In fact, this ride is not very popular. On spring break, on a max capacity day, the ride was a walk-on. And people just don't want to go on it because it looks like it might make you want to throw up. Even though it won't, the ride just looks too intense for other people. And again, it's not. But this in turn leads to low wait times and overall unpopularity for this attraction. Next we have Rodeo. This ride is very popular and is one of the classic flat rides of over Texas history. Also, it's really well themed, from the queue to the actual ride. As for the ride experience, it's very standard and they usually have this type of carnival rides everywhere else. But the only unique thing about this ride is the fact that you're riding on bulls, which again is great for families and this one always has a long wait. But the main issue is that it's located by Johnson Creek, and due to this, it gets flooded pretty often. And in 2019, a giant flood happened that caused Rodeo and the Osmond Samuel River Venture to become damaged. Luckily, they were able to save Rodeo, but it was pretty close to being on the chopping block. And ever since the flooding, the ride hasn't been as reliable as it used to be, which can be a problem. 
Then, we have the Music Mill Amphitheater, which is this giant theater in the back next to Shockwave, which has been here ever since almost the park has opened. I mean, it wasn't their opening day, but it has had history with the park. But now, it literally is history. It's been abandoned for the longest time, and we haven't seen absolutely nothing going on in that area. The last time was during July 4th Fest of 2016. So yeah, it's been a while. And from those who have been there now, like employees, they've said it's pretty abandoned and it's not safe to be there, and they can't even use it as a rehearsal place, because the stage is just really rickety and old. So now, you see all the flaws in these three attractions. Reliability, technical issues, age, all of these make sense for a removal. In fact, if you remember, I've done a video where we discussed about Six Flags' announcement to remove 15 attractions in the park chain. And if Over Texas was to remove an attraction, I put all three of these attractions as candidates for that. Because they're all very likely to leave anytime soon. And hearing this news, it's not surprising at all. Lately, all these rides have just been standing but not operating for a while, ever since the news broke. But the one who has gotten some attention is definitely Rodeo. The entire area where Rodeo is, is blocked off with a giant fence. Before, you could walk from there straight to go to Pirate Spelunker Cave. Now, in order to get through there, you gotta go through France and under JD Smokehouse. Because that entire area where Rodeo is, is blocked off. And the part that makes me question what's going on here is the small little sign that says, Explore New Paths, Park Pathways have been adjusted to make way for future projects. That term alone, future projects, makes me question if this is a complete ride removal for a possible new attraction in the future of Over Texas. So now that we got the background history about these three attractions and why they could be closing, let's talk about what could replace them. These three attractions are pretty spread out from each other, so it's not like a specific pattern of why they're closing. It could just be that they're all breaking down around the same time, and it's better just to remove all of them all at once instead of one at a time. But what if I said there is a pattern? To start, Holly Quinn's Sanity, you just have your technical issues, and there's two options. Either they're going to fix it or move it entirely. And if they remove it entirely, they can add a whole new attraction in that area, but we'll get to that in a bit. Right now, I'm focusing on Rodeo, mostly because of all the activity going on in that area. In fact, I believe that all this work being done is the start for construction on a brand new attraction, which could be the next standout coaster for Six Flags over Texas. Yeah, you heard me right, a standout coaster. And what's making me think this? Well, back in 2019, when Rodeo was in really bad quality, I thought the ride would also get removed. And one of my predictions was that Rodeo would get destroyed, and so would the Music Mill Amphitheater. So that way they can install a brand new coaster, like a custom RMC single rail, or something big. And the station for that coaster will be in the area of Rodeo, while the layout will take place where the stadium used to be. And that makes total sense. Now fast forward to now, and this entire area of Rodeo is blocked off. It's not just the ride leaving, this whole area is being made for a future project. And I think that future project is a possible expansion to Over Texas. For the longest time, I said that the Shockwave area needs to be fixed. It's bland and boring. But let's say they tear down the Music Mill Amphitheater, and with that we have tons of space to add brand new attractions and a standout coaster. We can have an entirely new themed land in that area, or so much more. So let's imagine they did install that big coaster. The station could start where Rodeo is, and it's the reason why the paths had to be adjusted. And with that the coaster can pull out, go up a lift or something, and the rest of the layout can be by the Big Ben Ranch where Titan is, or the Music Mill Amphitheater or both. We can have a switchback style, where it goes into that area, then goes over the bridge by Champa T cars, and goes into the Music Mill Amphitheater, before turning around and finally pulling in back to the station by Rodeo. There's infinite possibilities. So anyways, what is this big coaster? What would it look like? Well there's so many options, but I broke it down into the top 3 most likely. So let's start with number 1. A B&M Wing Coaster. Yes, I know, this sounds really random but it's the most realistic out of all my predictions, and here's why. If you don't already know, when a theme park decides to build a new coaster, it takes about 5 years of development, and this goes for all theme parks. It took 5 years for Velocicoaster, 5 years for Pantheon, for Iron Gwazi, and especially for Dr. Diabolical's Cliffhanger. And sure, some rides don't take that long, but the standard is around there, and this could be the case for the BNM Wing. It's probably been in development for a long time, ever since 2013. Why then? Well, to all the OG Over Texas fans, 
You might remember all the speculation that Over Texas will get a wing coaster, mainly because of X Flight at Great America. When that coaster debuted in 2011, everyone, and I mean everyone, even young Coaster Studios, talked about how Over Texas would get a wing coaster next. Mostly because Six Flags cloning rides makes total sense. But let's say it's been in the idea of Six Flags for a while now. Impossible, right? Well, not exactly. Because what if I told you Pirates of Splendid Cave has been in development for almost five years now? Yes, this attraction, which seems out of the blue and new, has been in talks for a while, and its original plan was to be a DC themed attraction. Luckily, it never happened because of Justice League Battle for Metropolis and because of the want of Speedlunkers. So, yeah, we dodged the bullet. But the point is, rides can still be in development now. And maybe we didn't get that wing coaster in 2013. But what if Over Texas still has that plan in their sleeves? And now for 2023, they'll reveal it. Sure, some may say it's a pretty bad idea, and we'll compare it to them in the ride, and I see where they're coming from, but the ride experience is completely different. After riding Wild Eagle in Dollywood, I absolutely love wing coasters, and it's completely different than a B&M invert, because the intensity is different, the moments of flying, I absolutely love it. So a B&M wing would be a great fit, and of course, with plans changing, it might not be the same mediocre wing coaster like X-Flight, but instead, maybe a record breaker, the world's tallest wing coaster with the world's tallest inversion, America's fastest wing coaster, maybe one with a launch, kind of like Thunderbird. And the layout could take place right over Chaparral Antique Cars and into the area by Titan or Musical Amphitheater. Just imagine walking that little bridge to get to Texas Giant and a giant wing coaster goes over you. That would be astonishing. Now what about the other two realistic ideas? Well, of course it would be a custom RMC Raptor, or like always, an SNS Axis. But those are backups and I really really believe it could be a wing coaster. And I'm fairly certain, especially now, after Six Flags inside the world could be an M again. And it just seems appropriate, especially with Codaland getting a brand new tilt coaster. Over Texas needs to step it up. Now with the whole idea about Rodeo now becoming a station for the ride, that could also be wrong. Maybe the station is over by Titan, or it's over by Musical Amphitheater. But what I am certain is that something new will be coming in that area, and it's most likely not just going to be a standard update. Now what about Harley Quinn? This one is kind of easy to figure out. The ride is really bad in terms of technical and reliability, so it's most likely going to bite the dust sadly, even though I really enjoy this attraction. And I think in its place, we're going to get the classic Harley Quinn's insanity, aka Crazy Legs. This ride was removed to make way for the new Harley Quinn just because of its name and in its place we got a new diner which I'm still kind of bitter about but anyways the ride is still in great condition and it's just in parts in the backyards of over Texas so literally all they have to do is just grab all the pieces again reassemble it and replace the new Harley Quinn with the old one and boom we have a flat ride in that area again. But just in case they go with the new ride route, I predict the Zamperla Super Air Race. It's a great flat ride, and I would prefer it a million times over Harlequin's Insanity. It's so much fun, especially with great theming. And as for its theme, I would say it'll possibly be themed to the DC villains, like the super villain swing rides. But instead of swings, it's the actual planes that are themed to different villains, or the Justice League, or maybe it's themed to Nightwing. Who knows? Anyways, now to conclude on which rides will be the most likely to leave. I say number one is definitely Harley Quinn's Insanity. No matter how painful it is to say this, the ride is just not good efficiency wise. And it makes sense to scrap it with low ridership and technical issues. And I'll greatly miss this ride. For Rodeo, it's a 50-50 shot. Either they replace it or they refurbish it. Maybe even sending off Rodeo to Fletcher City. Then for Music Mill, it's highly likely, but it'll definitely take a while. The main point though is that I really hope it happens because there's so much space in that area and it'll be perfect for a brand new expansion or new attraction. Anyways with that, that's all the news about the three ruined attractions to leave from being removed from the website. And again it's not official, it's definitely speculation at this point, but when it does become official I'll let you know. Also if they end up removing all three of these attractions, I really hope they give them one last goodbye before they close it for good. Anyways, what do you think? Are these attractions going to leave? And if so, what's going to replace them? And do you agree with my BNN Wing Coaster prediction? Comment down below. Anyways, thank you for watching. This is JB Thrills, signing out.